Uh, today we are going to do an unboxing. The Creality KA. Now, ba now basically you do. The Creality Ender 3 V3 KA. You have the SE, so Sam edition. And now you have the KE, wherever the E is. Yeah, the E is for the edition, but the K. I think the Clipper edition. A few details about the Creality KA. So we are talking about a printer that costs around the 300 U euros. This printer prints at 500 millimeters per second. When printing speed, the X-Rail is a linear rail instead of a V-slot rollers. So that's good. Everything else is uh, smooth rods for the Y-axis and V-slot rollers for the Z-axis. So that's pretty cool a smart self test for the Z offset auto leveling and more in ju uh, with just one more tap real time print preview vivid motion graphics off printing parameters input shaping there is so much with this printer So what is inside of the box? We have a uh, very small, I think, instruction manual, stickers, quick installation card, guides, and we also have a after sales service card. We have a EU power cord. We have nice static filament spool roll. So nice filament spool holder with a filament round out sensor. It is very handy, very handy dandy. We have a uh, wireless LCD touchscreen, very handy. Oh no, it's, it's not wireless, there are connectors. And we have also two USB ports and a USB type C port. And we have a, this is a 10 pins connector. So we have a, ooh, no really, oh my gosh. For real? I'm going to say a very famous movie cliche line. Man, you have to see this. These are not the 2040s. No, these are, uh, I don't know what they are. <laughs> so here by the extruder, you have the uh, CR touch. You uh, also have here the ceramic heater. Also here, the stepper motor is behind this part, upside down and uh, you know, oh cool. So a uh, dual lead screw with just one stepper motor, but it is synchronized on the top side. So no hobbly wobbly. So a Benji, you know that we used to print Benjis, yeah? And this Benji can be printed according to the data from Creality Lab in 15 minutes and eight seconds. You don't have to wait for a very long time until this one is finished. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is cool. So that part is done. Then uh, I think the last step on the bottom to do is just connecting these two, two together. So basically this is the, uh, so this is uh, from the filament run out sensor. So there is not really a cut out for this. A thing that I don't like nowadays is that they are using a plastic handle for the top. A lot of people picking the printer up here but this is now from plastic i also noticed that uh, on uh, for example the artillery side one x2 a very big heavy printer uh, also the uh, solvo sv06 also plastic on the top so if you're going to lift this up be aware uh, because this can break they are uh, hopefully they made it like that so that it won't happen anyways so I don't see a cover here. Normally on this heated bed, you have a cover over it. But 
I don't see it. So we have two holes here, but also two holes there. We need to have a bag with three screws. And that would be this one. Carl Fenton, how are you doing, sir? And then, of course, the connector goes with the notch right here, this one, to the other side. Fix it that way. We're going to flip it on the legs. So this cable is practically the same kind of cable that also came with the S1 Pro. So here on the back side, we have the uh, stepper motor for the X-axis. Come on. And, um, and here is also the uh, the little clamp where the wire goes in there. So I assume that the wire goes in like this. I'm going to just do it without looking. My, my life's motto. Do doing it without looking at it and then this one goes like that just feel where it is I don't have any problems with that and then this one goes underneath between the x-axis here and the top from the gantry and the cable first we put those two out we check where the little notch is here and also there so you have to be careful with pressing it in just imagine getting your first 3d printer looking like this instead of what we used to have like five years ago, six years ago.
Okay. We are now going to start the printer. Peeling off. Almost perfect. Somebody misdone it. Now we are going to switch on the printer. Okay, look. So uh, we are going for English. Next step. So next step is going through the to the uh, networks. So remember also the IP address. Bind the Creality Cloud. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So um, scan the QR code. The printer is auto detecting. Start detecting. Automatic Z offset. So let's um, Benji. This Benji is sixteen minutes. No, I don't need to. Um, shall we do the calibration as well? No, let's not do that. So, if you are selecting from the USB drive, it's going to move it to the to local. When we quickly go to the IP address, please check uh, for for the camera. Device does not work properly. I don't know which kind of cam I can connect to it, but now it is basically going to print the Banshee. It is going to print it in 16 minutes. So uh, let's let's see what's going to happen. Like promised, we are going now to check the model. And uh, I do need to say that the bottom text does look very nice. I can also go to this screen and show it here. Um, I think that this looks very nice as it's supposed to. The letters should be very clear to read i do see some gaps but don't forget that this is a official 16 minute banshee although the complete total printing time is 19 minutes so almost 20 minutes uh, but further uh, the quality looks not too bad i didn't catch which uh, temperature it was printing at uh, normally if you have a fast 3d printer uh, usually the temperature is like 220 further looking great i don't see any fuzziness no uh, stringing uh, the bridging right over here looks very great i do see a little little dent on this side as you can see it here little backwards dent but overall it is looking nice also the fire stack looks good and also here you don't have splitted walls like normally would be the case also on the back side there should also be text sometimes people will notice it if you have a really good printer you should also see something here on this side and as a little bonus we need to check something because there is a little conspiracy theory going that you can actually take another banshee and if everything is correct you can put two banshees like that yeah i know i was also like no way everybody thank you so much for being here if you are not subscribed subscribe to the channel yeah thank you so much and i will see you in the next one peace bye bye